no other chair of G20, made an effort to consult all the countries of the global south. We would like to use the G20 presidency really to get that forum to focus on what is its remedy. India is making all efforts to include concerns of Global South in the G20 framework under its presidency. India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar, who is visiting Uganda and Mozambique, assured the members of the Parliamentary Forum on Indian Affairs in Uganda. Today, of course, uh, in India, uh, we are very uh, preoccupied uh, with our chairship of the G20. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, we, this, uh, the, the Meetings are taking place as we speak. We will have a very big summit in September. Uh, but I mention that to you because uh, we are doing G20 differently. We are doing it differently in the sense that no other chair of G20 made an effort to consult all the countries of the global south and asked them, saying, look, you are not on the table. So what are your interests? What is? What are the things you want? What are your concerns that we can put on the table on your behalf? We went through this very, very detailed, very exhaustive exercise in the month of January, uh, and of course, naturally, Uganda was a participant as well. Uh, and uh, today, we would like to use the G20 presidency really to get that forum to focus on what is its remit what was its mandate, which is global growth and global development, and issues which are very important for you, issues of green growth, issues of debt, issues of health, issues of SDG, developmental agenda, uh, issues of digital delivery. Uh, I think all these uh, are, are really uh, the issues on which we would like the G20 to, uh, to focus on. India, on several occasions in the past, has voiced the concerns of Global South on the international stage, including during its G20 presidency. As the president of the G20, India has the opportunity to steer the G20 agenda for an entire year. The G20 consists of two parallel tracks, the finance track and the Sherpa track. Finance ministers and central bank governors of G20 countries lead the finance track, while Sherpas lead the Sherpa track. Thematically oriented working groups in which representatives from the relevant ministries of the member countries as well as from the invited and guest countries and various international organizations participate in meetings in these two tracks. Sherpa track is coordinated by specially appointed emissaries of G20 leaders. The Sherpa track oversees inputs from 13 working groups under two initiatives, Research Innovation Initiative Gathering and G20 Empower, and various engagement groups, all of whom meet throughout the year to develop their issue notes and outcome documents in parallel. And it is during these meetings that India has been voicing the concerns of Global South. The substantive discussions that take place are used as a basis to make recommendations to the Sherpa meetings. The outcome document of the Sherpa level meetings eventually forms the basis of the leaders declaration which will be debated and signed after and if consensus is reached at the final New Delhi summit in September by leaders of all G20 member countries. India holds the presidency of the G20 from December 1st, 2022 to November 30th, 2023. 43 heads of delegations, the largest ever number in G20, will be participating in the final New Delhi summit in September next year.